Hello, uh, your girl Flirty here with another anime um, review. Um, now, actually, I just looked over and I have watched over a total of over 500 animes, and I do actually know what animes are pretty damn good. Um, but again, I'm not much of an otaku fan. Um, I have mangas and all, but now for here, spoiler warning, I will ruin some of y'all's understandings for the videos. But those of you who don't watch anime, here, click this video, and then if you don't agree with what I've read, what I've seen, go on your merry way, then. Okay, so, the next anime, which I actually have finished way back, I think maybe senior year or junior year of high school, haven't seen much of, will be, like, and I, um, I don't think in terms of romance, but um, it's got me into the paranormal stuff. And the anime I'm talking about is ranked high at number 439. And it's received 4 out of 5 stars. Made by the same company who had made XL Saga, JC Staff. And it also was released in 2006 and finished around 2007. And it's up to 25 episodes. That's right, Ghost Hunt. It's my other, my all time favorite. Paranormal. Well, next to the the narrow detective agency thing, but it is my ultimate per paranormal favorite anime. Um, if you guys don't know it, where have you been? This is subbed and dubbed. I can't remember the my favorite actress who dubbed my favorite character, the one of the main characters in Ghost Hunt. I have to look her up. Um, who dubbed my Tachibana? Whoever did that, comment below if you can figure out who dubbed who was the English voice actor actress for my Tachi Tachibana. If you've seen the anime of Ghost Hunt, please let me know, and I would love it. Um, I don't, I don't, I think I don't think it was Laura Bailey, but somebody else. I can't remember. Shoot, I have to look that up. Um, anyway, so uh, not Tachibana, my Tamiyama. My bad, I can't read. Okay, so I'll give you basic background story here, or a little subplot, and then we'll go later on into the episode, um, this episode here, into, um, of the reviews. My phone's burning hot. It's at 40%, so I don't want to talk too long. Okay, so the, like I said, my Taniyama is the center, I think maybe the center, like, main focus character. Uh, she's a first-year high school student that lives a carefree life, like telling ghost stories with her friends. And one day she meets the uh, serious narcissistic boy, Kazuya Shibuya, who is the head of Shibuya um, Psychic Research, or SPR for short. And together, she tags along to help him investigate the paranormal activities and a haunted built haunted school building. This will be the first first episode here. His assistant Lynn was hurt during an incident to protect Mai from danger. So what more can Mai do than to take the job as Shibuya's assistant? And along the, along with a team of other ghost hunters, they will start to uncover like the mystery of a strange case coming their way. While Mai starts to discover her own abilities. And I think, um, she does start to discover that. Um, okay, so let's look at some of the reviews. Wow, you guys are pretty, pretty picky on this. If you guys give it a 4 out of 5, you gotta give me some good damn reasons. Where are you? I'm not reading the 5, I don't want anything below 5s. I like 5s. Um, okay, I'm reading the one that has a 9 at least, and then I'll go more for like 7, because then I have some serious reasons. Okay, so this anime I felt was great. Um, the looks, the drawing is pretty good, and um, if you like the style, that is. And it, it kind of will remind you, I've never seen all of it, I've seen like maybe one episode of this, of Sword Art Online. And the most important thing is the female characters actually look humanoid and not like balloons, like two balloons on a stick. Almost every character is complex and well done. They have, and we have a lot of character evolu evolutions and everyone like gets really useful at some point in the story. And they all act pretty smart all the way through the freaking series. The main character is really he, the male character is really calculating and smart and reminds, to me, it reminds me of Lelouch v. Britannia. 
Um, my is pretty useless at first, sorry, but it will gradually become more professional. And also, let's not forget there's humor in this series as well. They all have great humor and are like really likable characters. Um, look, if you look at the first scene when our Aussie friend makes his appearance, and it's just freaking hilarious. I love the first episode. It's just funny. Um, the sounds, I'll give um, two words to describe it. Best ever. Perfect magia. Yeah. The story... Um, okay, well, this person, I'm sorry. I just wish for more detail, so I'm going to go into seven. Um, and this is by Sebastian Star. Nice name. Okay, so this is posted, like, since it's 2015, it was 2012, and it was posted about three years ago. Now, the story, Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures, and Destination Truth. Also, let's not forget, um, crap, why did I forget? No, I already took it. Never mind. Um, I'm an idiot. Um, also, live sci-fi. If any of these shows interest you for the story wise, then you'll enjoy Ghost Hunt. And it's now the thing is the show is kind of similar to those in that its cases are solved in arcs, like for one episode. In fact, it reminds me a lot of, in a way, Case Closed, and that the plot is only um, shown about this. That's the plot's the only thing about this show um, that is shown only, like shown, like only shown once in a while. And the majority of the show was solving cases. And but what I liked the best best about the show was the nature like of the ghost cases. Um, there's another reviewer I think I saw that um, I think it was like Viva Fruit, who said that they kept you guessing, and even if you did manage to figure it out, um. The show would add a curveball to change your mind. The cases also the cases also had variety, with some being like downright nightmare fuel, to more somber tales depending on what kind of ghosts they were dealing with. However, there were there there are major errors with the anime. The most prominent being that it ends without a definite conclusion. I have a feeling that the show wasn't meant to be longer. As the anime foreshadows everything, but reveals nothing in the end. Um, this does not affect the enjoy. It doesn't affect the enjoyment levels of the show, but it would have been probably nice not to be left confused. That like be left in a confused like that was it kind of state after watching. Mm. Don't spill on me. I have to have a drink. My throat is dry. And my phone's probably almost dead. And it's at 40. I can last a few more minutes. Okay, but, so, let's get on to this plot itself. Now, this, the plot the plot of this anime itself follows the story of my Taniyama and her adventures working as a paranormal investigator. Give me a minute. Under a narcissistic guy. What do I mean by narcissistic? In my terms, he's just a freaking jerk. Sorry, I have to have my hair fixed, right? Or else I look ugly. Okay. Now, um, but, um, or under her narcissistic boss, whose real name is actually Kazuya Shibuya, excuse me, or as my call him, Nick has Nick Abraham, Naru, um, and the rest of the cast that helps. And the cases are, um, I think, a Buddhist monk, a young Catholic priest, a spiritual medium who's just mean, and a self-proclaimed and whiny priestess. <laughs> In my terms, that's how you describe her. Um, Naru's less than social assistant Len also enters as well. Um, each he's pretty quiet also. Um, each have like their own techniques of solving the case. The cases while they use them repetitively in the show. 
the powers do get development in the epic department, which was a nice added touch to keep the show interesting, but however, the characters themselves do not receive character development, and when the others do, it's pretty suitable. It's pretty subtle. But overall, while I kept on edge of my seat during the exciting cases, I left the show with the feeling of, like, wanting more. Had the show been longer and given more time to develop the characters' uh, relationships and backgrounds, I think it, I would have probably given this section a higher than like a 7 in my terms. But the mysteries the gang and the gang takes on are more than enough to react reason to stick with the show. Now animation. Next, animation. The animation was great for this kind of show. Some backgrounds were dark with shades of like purples and blues and reds and blacks to put you in the atmosphere of fear when the ghosts were around. During the daytime settings for, of the show, the animation was bright and colorful and the backgrounds were d well designed. For the characters, I like the fact that their clothes and their hairstyles matched their personality and were like apt to changing. But the characters themselves did not did look they did look a bit unoriginal. I, like, I felt they could have put out of any other anime out there. Or like they could have come out um, of any, any other anime out there. Still, the, again, the fluid animation, the numerous creepy styles of ghosts, and the frequent dark backgrounds led me to like, give this section like a good high score. Now sounds. The background music did heighten the scary feeling of the scenes, but on their own, are unmemorable. The opening was interesting in that there are no lyrics or characters shown. All you see is dark changing colors and haunting music. The colors also like move to the music as they change. The dub was pretty good and I only had prob uh, had some problems with Mai's voice. Um, at times it could get annoying. It, it, um, it is an improvement over her Japanese voice though. No offense. Um, I just I do have to give special mention to the side characters' voices as they were really done, really good, and made me connect to them even if they were only present for their specific arc. Um, and finally, characters. Um, second to last is characters. There were there, there just wasn't enough time to develop the characters enough. The relationships and backstories are the by far the most left out. Part, which leads to the lack of development. However, the characters themselves are interesting to follow. Mai is kind of annoying, but curious as a. I'm sorry, let me restate that. Mai is a kind of annoying but curious protagonist that really wants to help each of her clients. Naru is a cold and detached individual, but has his heart in the right place, and does show that he cares for his team of investigators. The other characters felt more like protective siblings, and while that's not a bad thing, I wish there was more to them. Um, some forms of development felt like it was going backwards, as was the character would change and then go back to being the way they were in the next episode, like Lynn. Um, so while these characters had intriguing personalities, there should have been more to their development. Overall, the creepy and mysterious tone, mostly likable characters, and good animation led me to really enjoy this show. It does have its faults, but it's it's like not in any way terrible. Any fan of ghosts, detective shows, or the paranormal should definitely check this anime out. Especially the English dub. Again, like I said, my can get annoying at times, but she has her good points. Frankly, I like it. Um, um, I just also like the horror scenes. It makes me jump sometimes. But I did not agree with their statement about the opening. I actually, um, I actually didn't. I hated the opening. I always skipped. I couldn't bring myself to listen. Actually, I couldn't bring myself to listen to it more than once. Now, don't get me wrong, I've actually never hated an opening as much as I did this one. Um, th now, the song instrumental track that fits the theme is very good, but it's just way too repetitive for my taste. <laughs> even, if the, like, even if this like doesn't fit the sound category, there is no opening sequence 
to what I saw at all, and it, it bothers me. The background music is somewhat, like like I said before again, is forgettable. Um, the sound effects are good, but it's actually hard to it's actually hard to mess with the sound effects. Um, so that kind of that part I did lie. I was reading that they said a little bit on the sound for the opening. I I'm 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 mixed. I'm like varied for the opening. It depends on my mood. <laughs> Overall, if you're a fan of the paranormal series like I am, especially paranormal romances and all, definitely check this anime out. That's actually before I wasn't into that stuff, but when I saw this anime, it definitely got me into the paranormal stuff. So yeah. Um, also, thank you guys for watching my ghost, like, weird stories about my dolls. Um, I haven't had any recent problems, um, with my dolls, thank God. Um, at least to my knowledge, I am oblivious to stuff. So, who knows, I might have, and I just am stupid enough not to actually notice. Um, but, yeah, so, that's the end of this day's um anime reviews i will probably already have this posted up so please forgive me i'm still working on it also thank you guys for subscribing to my channel i'm already at 60 subscribers um 60 some i have to actually look it up right now before i forget um but i'm already pretty high up in my subscriptions and i'm happy that you guys are actually taking time to watch these. Um, now I don't know if that's due to my other stuff, like I've done singing before. Like right now, I was like at just 60, and I've already got four more subscribers to this. I only I don't do this just for subscribers. I do this just to see if this stuff interests you guys. Um, um, but hopefully it does. I mean, I'm trying to get you guys all interested in what I do. Um, because I do like reviewing animes that I've seen. Um, and I'm actually seeing right now that everybody's kind of watching my views, especially Diabolic Lovers, because that was a pretty good anime series. Um, I'm glad you guys are actually checking this out, because anime is actually part of my life that I never got to express about. Um, but you've seen my drawings of. And I want to tell you, like, what my favorite animes were, and, like, judge the ones you guys tell me to try, or, like, that others have told me to try. Um, and I have to actually edit two videos because I did not post up the cover thumbnail. Ah! Oopsies. Oopsie whoops. <laughs> Anybody get this reference? Oop. I, th I thought like I was doing a meme right there. <laughs> yep, I forgot the thumbnail. I'm an idiot. Boop. Just kidding. Um. Um. But I do, like I said, I do these videos from also myself, just because no one, yeah, there are other people who do reviews for this, like, blind reviews and all that are probably better at the animation stuff like than I am, but I do this just for the heck of it. I post videos on YouTube because I just like being out there. I want to be out there and not stuck in a tiny box of silence. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but I enjoy also watching anime. I really, really do. Actually, I think someone just commented on one of mine. Um, can't see it. Eh. Boop. Um, but, yeah, you can't click. But, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm adding on more time than I planned. Um, but again, anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you like to see me do more anime reviews, comment below to this video to let me know. As I want to see if you guys really do generally want me to do more anime reviews. And if you also, guys, if you have any anime reviews, animes, I'm sorry, animes, you want me to check out to review on from my point of stamp, like, from my standpoint, and see if I've seen them already. Heck, feel free to comment down below in the video where you hear me telling us. Like this video, comment below if you want me, in it, me to do an anime that you want me to see. And I will reply and see if I have seen it. And if I haven't, I will watch it. So, this is your girl, Flared, here. Cheat out. Bye!